Hello, hello. There we go. Hi guys and gals and besties and anybody that goes by anything else. They them anything like that. Hello to everybody regardless. <laughs> I am waiting for my YouTube upload to finish before I start gaming because I don't, there it goes, all done. Okay, I didn't want it to be all laggy and everything because it was telling me I was dropping a ridiculous amount of frames, like 30% of my frames, so I figured why not just wait for a few more minutes. Hello, Mina. What do you want? I know you want food, but what do you want? <laughs> Dorky cat. You gonna come over here? Hi, baby girl. Wanna come over here? If you're not gonna come over here, you're not allowed to stay up there. You're gonna get your fur in it. No, don't go loving the computer, please. You're gonna get your fur in it. Don't want your fur in the computer, darling. No. You coming over here? No? Then you gotta jump down. Thank you. Okie dokie. Let me... Where is that? Okay. Hello Bestie Max! How are you? How are you? <laughs> it's real good to see you. Alrighty, let me open up Origin. I didn't do that yet either because I didn't want it to make everything lag. <laughs> oh, I've had a bad experience already with trying to upload and stream at the same time. It doesn't go well. It does not go great. Ba, 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 ba. Put you over there. <laughs> That's fair enough. I'm never awake until like an hour or two after I wake up. But thanks for coming to hang out. <laughs> All right. Pop on the desktop audio. We are loading in. Lovely. Okay. Now, one more thing before I properly. There we go. Let me pop this in the relevant things. Do do do. Nearly there. I need to be more organized. Okay, no. Hold down. Oh dear. I mean, I consider that quite early. I don't like mornings, so I do consider that to be quite early myself. I don't like to wake up before about 10 a.m. <laughs> Let me pop that over there and that over there. Okay, so we've not played for a while because my game was kind of broken. And then when my game was fixed again, I realized both Lil Simsy and Miviard had shell challenges out, so I decided I wanted to do them first. But now that both of them are done, we can finally get back into the Not So Berry game. I think I may have loaded into the right. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I can load into my other saves just fine, but that was the save I was in when it first glitched out, and I am terrified that it is broken. Oh no. Yeah, it took me like five streams to finish it and I ended up going overtime for most of the streams, going more than three hours. 
No, we've covered the save. Um... Oh dear, I don't know what that means. I'm not great with tech, with, with tech stuff. It's always entertaining to me though when I see uh, Lil Simsy's actual name written down because I'm like, wait, what? Me? You mean me? And then I'm like, no, wait. Kayla, Lil Simsy, Kayla, right. Because <laughs> my name's Kayla as well. So it's always so weird for me. Because I grew up knowing, like, one other Kayla. <laughs> Ooh, awesome! I somehow managed to muscle through and not bulldoze a single time. But I hated it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try recover that one. Yes. Okay, can we try that? Oh, it can be very confusing. Oh. <laughs> Help. I'm going to try and recover a previous one. We might have to redo some, some stuff, but... If we can recover a previous save, I won't have to start from the beginning. So, that's better than nothing. I don't want to start again. I don't want to start again. No. No, it won't even load now. No, guys, it won't even load now. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Honestly, that's fair. I can't blame you there. <laughs> Nina, do you want to come cuddle? No. Okay. Oh. Please. 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 Don't make me cry, please. What is... Look, if we can't get The Sims 4 to work, we're going to play The Sims Medieval. I only just got it fixed. I don't want it to be broken. Pretty please load. Pretty 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 please. With a cherry on top. Please. Okay, you're loading. You're loading. You're loading. You're loading. And you've stopped loading. My navigation is kind of hard to do. Okay, that's good. Not me just sending a message to my partner praying about the Sims being broken again. It's cool. It's cool. It's great. I love this fact. I absolutely love this fact.
Okay, I'm trying to troubleshoot with him because why not? Until I can get it fixed, we are going to play Sims Medieval though. Okay, we are going to play Sims Medieval for now, besties. Because I can't get this to work. And I don't want to deal anymore with it on the stream. I'm going to probably cry about it afterwards. So I want to not think about it. Um, I need to change my title. In medieval today because my sins or hates me and doesn't want me to play not so very. I want to try not to bury or have to wait till things doesn't take me. Sims medieval now instead. And then we need to pop it into all of the same places. And one more there. Okay. Cool. I love it. I'm totally okay with this. I definitely wanted this to happen. This was the plan all along. Yep. That is what we're going with. That is what we're sticking with. Let's play some Sims Medieval and I'm gonna have to fix up my oh I'm gonna have to create a Tech issues on stream suck and I've had nothing but them. I'll have to turn down the audio once we get into the game a bit, I think. I have played a little bit of it off stream, but we'll probably start a new game here on the stream because that's my game. You can't have it, that's mine. That's for me alone, please, and thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that, besties. Had to cough. Needed to mute to cough because I didn't want to cough in your earsy. I love that the first like 20 minutes of my stream was just tech issues. That was so wonderful. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> but it's good. It needs a lot of brain power though that's for sure <laughs> i don't have that much brain power a lot of days okay so new game no new game 
let me first try and um, pick up that thing. Can I get into my options first? Yes, I can. Let's see. Are you a better fit? I don't think you. No, you won't be because. Hmm. I will full screen. You know what? We'll just change it on here. Cool. Cool. Come in and see the things we do best. They come from real slush like places. Come in and see the things we do best. Okie doke. That looks better to me. Yeah, that looks much better. Okie doke. Let us start our new game now that I've done my troubleshooting. I would like to start with a furnished throne room. A traditional throne room because... Oops, I played it. Do you want to jump over? That's it. Hi. We'll slowly turn back because we hate the feeling of turning. Yeah. Slowly, slowly. Oh, sweetie. Slowly, slowly. Ooh. Thank you, thank you for the follow gaming panda mummy. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> welcome to... Welcome to the stream. It is good to see you. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. We're gonna... No, no, it's okay. You're okay. You're alright. There you go, sweetie. Hello! Welcome to the stream. How are you? Do you play The Sims yourself? Sorry, I'm not playing at the moment. I'm trying to think, both trying to think of a name for the kingdom. If anyone has any suggestions, feel free to let me know. But also, my cat's on my lap at the moment. And... She's kneading my lap. Oh, awesome! Yeah, I usually scrim stream The Sims... Scrim? Yeah, I usually stream The Sims for myself. Um, but obviously it just kind of broke. Uh, don't know if you saw that or not. <laughs> but it broke, and so we're playing Sims Medieval now. As soon as I can think of a kingdom name. Hmm. Maybe I will pull up a kingdom name generator if nobody has any ideas. And we'll just name it something kind of generic. Or like one of the funny ones that it comes up with. Oh, thank you! <laughs> yeah, I'm obviously a Hufflepuff myself. Uh, maybe a tiny bit Slytherin or Ravenclaw. Ow, ow, where did I? That hurt. Nina, Nina, you've got little needle claws, that hurts, darling. Thank you. <laughs> but yes, um, I'm a Hufflepuff myself, so obviously the banner. <laughs> I definitely enjoy the series. Do not love the writer so much anymore. I am going to game, okay, sweetie? You can stay in my lap, though, if you'd like. Let's pull up a... Kingdom name generator. Uh, yep, I like fantasy name generators. It's a very good. Um, ah, 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 Mina, ow. Mina, you have needle paws, please, sweetheart. Please, needle paws, darling. I know, but needle paws. I know, I love you, okay? It's okay. Oh. She left because I was telling her off for her needle paws. I'm sorry, sweetie, but they hurt. <laughs> um, but yes. How about... Some of these are strange. I don't think I like any of these. Oh yeah, definitely cute but painful. <laughs> Um, oh, 
Naming kingdoms is the hardest part, that's for sure. Let's make this bit smaller. A little bit bigger. There we go, now we can see them all at once. And also, see the game. So, what are we thinking? Do we have suggestions? Oh yeah, Willow Den. You know what? I actually really like that. Let's go with Willow Den, or the Willow Creek. Thank you very much for the suggestion. I was not coming up with anything good with the generator. Willow Den, or the Willow Creek. So. I know my sims, but I don't know it super well with the characters. Are there any particular, um, like, is it is it the land grabs in Willow Creek? Or is it somebody else that's like the iconic family from Willow Creek? Because if we're naming it Willowdale, I kind of want to use the last name of one of the iconic families from Willow Creek and have it be one of their ancestors because that's entertaining to me not me just googling your willow creek residents <laughs> oh my god yes i could do the goth <laughs> okay done sold we're doing the goth <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Let's make a monarch. We are creating our own monarch. <laughs> Mephigal. Mephigal. Okay. Are we creating. No, I don't think I want to play as a male. I want to play as a female. Sully. We can definitely make a more goth looking female than we can a goth looking male. That's for sure. Okay, so. The last name will definitely be Goth, but let's randomize to get a good first name, I think. <laughs> Paula Goth. Adriana Goth. I think that works. That kind of fits in. Penelope Goth. Could be, could be. I like that. So we've got Adriana, we've got Penelope. Adriana, Penelope. I think Adriana still works, but Penelope is definitely a good choice for a child later. Adriana, go. Okay. Twelfth Jamish. Dorun Oreke. Tifem Uvensab. Sidaya Blashev. Teshima Narith. Cool, that works. Um. Ooh, too pale, too pale. <laughs> yeah, it's great having someone on the same level. <laughs> um. You'll have them be a younger looking fool. Look old. Nice. That's cool. I've not played with the age modifier. I am uh 23. I'm 23. <laughs> I had to think about that for far longer than I should have, considering I'm only 23. <laughs> oh dear. Ah. Lush. Okay, well, we'll give her, like, give her that. I can't deal with how pale that is. It has to be that one. <laughs> I 
Oh man, how long did you have to think about that one? <laughs> Okay, that is looking like a goth. We'll get black hair, of course. Lovely. Now. Oh, that could definitely work. Um, that's something. <laughs> I don't love the short hair for the goth. Oh, that's also something. I think I want to do the face first. <laughs> oh man. My brothers call me a dinosaur. To be fair, there is a nine year gap, so I, un I somewhat understand it, but... Eh. I'm not a dinosaur, dude. You're the bloody child, you little child. <laughs> oh dear, I am terrible. I am a horrible, horrible sister. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I just pulled up a reference picture of the goths for myself because it's far easier to work out facial features from a reference picture. They seem to have slightly longer faces with pointed jaws, so... This could work. Oh, that one. Oh, wow. So, the gap between you and your youngest is almost the same gap as there is between me and my youngest brother. So that's fun. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I think that one works. We'll go... What kind of eyes do the goth have? He's one or two. That sounds right. He's one or two. Maybe three. I don't see him very often because he lives with my dad, of course, and I live away from home. It's kind of hard to catch up. And I, even with my other two brothers, um, at one point when one of them was seven, for like a five year span there, I was like, no, he's seven. He's seven. No, he's seven. He wasn't seven for like four of those years. Oh, um... What eye colours do the goths have? <laughs> I'm horrible with ages. Honestly. Um, I physically cannot even pull up The Sims 4 to look at them. I have to... Uh, what eye colour do they have? I can't even just zoom into a picture of them or anything. I think it's like a green or a, or a like hazel kind of colour. So we'll go with that. Go with the hazel colour. No, no, I'm not missing a tooth. Um, if you're talking about here, um, it's not missing a tooth. It's um, two of the teeth have... I basically didn't have great dental hygiene as a teenager uh, due to a variety of reasons. And so now I don't have great teeth in general because I also had thin enamel so now I've got like big holes in some of my teeth and cavities at the backs so I'm trying to get them fixed and everything but obviously dental work is expensive <laughs> okay. 
nose. What kind of nose do they have? A long nose, kind of like pointy out nose. Ooh, that sounds painful. That sounds real painful. Oh dear. Yeah, I honestly, I probably need fakes at this point or I'm getting close to it. Because I think there's like maybe two of my teeth. Um, like maybe two of my teeth are, uh, oh that works for me. That works for me. Very snooty looking. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know that. Uh... Oh yes, I like that. And then definitely eyeliner. Right, I never did the eye shape. Ooh, yep. Yeah, I think I've got like three or four without cavities, maybe two. I'm not sure exactly how many. I think this works. Now let's change our hair. I think that works for a goth. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, she is a bit. She is a bit. I wish we could give them glasses in this game. That would be really cool. But it makes sense that we can't. Okay, I think I want to dress her in a red dress. But what red dress? I want her to look very monarch. Oh wow, that is a red dress. It's a really good game and it's honestly not that expensive because it's old. <laughs> what dress do I want? I can make any of them red because it's got like the colour picker. Oh, no, I don't even have to make any of them red. This is what I made for my monarch in my game. I think she would wear this. This seems like something the goths would wear. This seems like something the goths would wear. I'm not even going to change the colour. No, that's good. That's fine. Save the sin. Cool. We need to do the traits. Ooh, what kind of traits would the goths have? Um, I think it's easiest to do the, the fatal flaw first. All right, what fatal flaw should we have? Bloodthirsty, compulsive gambler. Oh, it does. That would give me very rave. Okay, give me a sec. I can always change it back real quick, but let me just, boom, there. Change this bit to be more Get it to be more silver. Don't mind me. There. Ravenclaw. Helena Ravenclaw. <laughs> there we go. That is very pretty. Anyway. Yes, cancelled. And back to the red. Okay. Now. <laughs> Back to what we were doing. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Sorry. See you, Bestie Max. 
All right, enjoy your day. And thank you. I'll definitely enjoy the rest of the stream. Very much hope you enjoy your day. It was very fun having you here. Thanks for hanging out. They frequently get the itch to make bets and gamble, often for high stakes. Cowardly sims live in constant fear for their lives. They often become afraid of even innocuous things, sometimes to the point of fainting, fainting or running away in terror. Cruel sims have a lot of pent-up anger and disdain towards the world, and they often feel the need to vent their rage on other sims. Kinda want that. I can't lie. Kinda want that. <laughs> the fates are unkind to Sims affil aff The fates are unkind to Sims afflicted with the cursed trait. Things just never seem to go their way. Drunkards. Drunkards have a love-hate relationship with various intoxicating beverages. They love to drink, drink often, and in large amounts, but really hate life when they wake up the next morning. Fools. Sims with the full fatal flaw are somewhat scatterbrained and lacking in common sense. They are easily distracted and often get lost. Glutton. Gluttonous Sims are always hungry and can never get enough food. Guild enemy. Shopping has never been so unpleasant. <laughs> I mean, it's always unpleasant, let's be honest, but okay. Guild enemy Sims will literally pay a price for not choosing their enemies wisely. Okay. Hubris. The sims with hubris get so full of themselves when they successfully do things that they become blinded by their own hubris. Okay. Insecure. Insecure sims don't have a lot of confidence in themselves, especially in regards to socializing. They are often nervous and get depressed easily if their social life isn't going well. Same. <laughs> Insomniac. Sims with the insomniac fatal flaw have difficulty falling asleep when they want to. Unfortunately, this means that they are so tired during the day that they'll sometimes fall asleep when they decidedly do not want to. Licentious? I think so. Licentious sims are romantically inclined, but not always in a wholesome way. They're always looking to get some action. Regardless of proprietary, pro, propriety, propriety, there we go, propriety, <laughs> or consequences. Misanthrop. Misanthropic sims have nothing but disdain and contempt towards their fellow sims and won't hesitate to show it. They really don't get along well with others, so keep your distance. Morose. Morose sims are rarely in a good mood. It's quite difficult to make them happy, because they simply don't want to be happy. Puny. Puny sims are physically weak and feeble. They rarely can hold their own in a fight, and strenuous activity quickly leaves them tired and sore. Uncouth. Sims lacking in couth muck up both precious and everyday moments in life with shoddy footwork, poor planning, and poorly chosen words. Same. <laughs> Weak constitution. <laughs> Sims with a weak constitution are fragile and have trouble with standing sickness. Their delicate stomachs will often give them trouble after eating or drinking. I think we're going to go with either weak constitution or cruel for this one. Let's go weak constitution. And the current traits will be Yep. Entitled sounds about right. And greedy. Maybe greedy. They are the goths. <laughs> Yeah, greedy. Entitled, greedy, and weak constitution. Beautiful. Okay, I think this sim is ready. Let's go. That 
then you go away. We no longer need the tab of the gods. Okay. The throne room is the nerve center of the royal palace and the hub and a hub of activity for running the day-to-day -day operations of the kingdom. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Definition of a god. Okay. Cool. Um, let's choose a quest. Oh, I can choose something other than the first step. We should probably do first steps first, though. Okay. The dust had finally settled on the construction of the Grand Throne. The seeds of a glorious new kingdom had been planted, and soon a civilization would grow and cover the land for miles in all directions. The only thing Willowdale needed now was a ruler. Someone wise and powerful who could unite the people under the kingdom's cause. First Sims game I played was the oh no, it was the sit oh wait. It was on the Nintendo Wii. Yeah, that's right. And it was, I believe, the Sims Pets on the Wii. That sounds right. Yeah, the first game I played was The Sims 2 Pets, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I just looked it up and that was the, um, the cover that I remember. The Sims 2 Pets. That was the first game I ever played. If you built it. Building a kingdom from the ground up is no simple task. Whoever took on this incredible mission would need to secure resources, hire a staff, control the burgeoning populace, and beat back the criminal element. The dust had finally settled on the cons- oh, I already read that. That was earlier. And I read that. Okay, cool. We can start. Oh, we've got a loading thing. There we go. My throne room is finally complete. The builders have been working hard and the fruits of their labour are evident. I should prepare to meet with Buildmaster Uriah. A quick jaunt upstairs to the mirror should suffice. Let's go. Stairs to the mirror. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Dusty, dust. Dusty, up. Yep, that's the one. Let's go. No, Deve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember at one point just like having a house full of pets. Entirely pets and one person. And I just didn't play the person. I only looked after the pets. <laughs> okay, you don't have to spend so long in the mirror, honey. Perfect. Now I'm a little more focused. Staying focused will make it easier for me to complete any journeys in which I may find myself. Speaking of which, I should seek out Buildmaster Uriah of the Builders Guild, a powerful pillar of the community, and discuss the future of Willowdale. Okie dokie, where is he? I should have a person marker, shouldn't I? No, no person marker for Buildmaster Uriah. Okay. Oh, there he is. Discuss the castle. Oh, yeah. No worries, no worries. Enjoy your Easter, though. I hope it's good. I hope you have some fun. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you for coming in. I hope I see you again sometime. The throne room's all done, my lady. We'll need more resources to begin the next building in the kingdom. Wood, stone, and supplies will cover it. I do enjoy getting my hands dirty once in a while, for the betterment of my kingdom. I should make my way to the forest and collect the necessary wood. You too, you too. <laughs> See ya. Okie dokie. Off we go to location. Oh, 
Well, you take a while to walk anyway, but let's discover things while we're at it. Hmm. Hmm. Sit up in there. Hmm. Cool. Can we discover anything else? Yes, we can discover that one. Let's collect these guys. Hmm. Hmm. And discover that one. I can't discover that. I guess we go what? Challenge Forest Bandit Percival to a duel. Okay. Hello, Forest Bandit Percival. I will challenge you to a duel. After I've played hmm. with my stuff. Hmm. Challenge to a duel. I challenge you. Okay, nearly time to feed the cat. Chelik bar. Nay, Velaseth. All right, let me real quick. Um, okay, everything's on this to touch. Okay. Krellem. No, it's still too loud. I don't like how loud it is. Monarch. Bandits could really become a problem in Willowdale, but a knight or spy could curb that. Now I can collect wood in peace. Collect wood. There you go, Besky. Off you go. Collect your wood. Have fun. There was always adventure waiting to be found in the forest. The wood was collected, and the kingdom would soon prosper from it. This wood will be perfect for the kingdom's next building project. The builder will also need stone. I can't, I can mine stone in the same way, but in the cave by the graveyard. Okay, go to location then. Oh, right. Boop. Uh, ah, uh, milady, can I have a word, please? It's about my work uh, here. Okay, discuss grave digging. Tesh, Kenslin. I'll discover that. Oh, well, my lady, I was just wondering if you'd consider building a church here in the kingdom. It seems unceremonious to bury these people without proper right to... from a Jacobian or a... Oh gosh, there's so many religious words. And it's gone. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's collect them and then we'll go to the cave and collect the stone. Oh. <laughs> These people aren't dead. <laughs> Adriana collected the stone while venturing deep into the endless network of tunnels. Eventually, she climbed down a sheer drop into a dark abyss. At the bottom, Adriana reached an underground lake. She stumbled over a small chest sitting in a puddle. 
What should Adriana do? Risk opening the mysterious chest that just happened to be sitting in a puddle in the depths of the cave? Hmm. Seems like a bad idea, but okay. Or don't do it. Mysterious chests in dark, dangerous places seem to hold bad things a lot of the time. Perhaps it was best just to leave this place in one piece. Oh, oh. Open it. Okay, I got 125 coins. And that should be enough for the builder. Village, village shop for some supplies. Um, no, I didn't want to go home. I wanted to locations of the village. Go to the village shop. Lovely. Off to the village shop. The village shop sells plenty of things, ingredients for cooking, armor, weapons, and many other useful items. Plus, the stock is always changing. As queen, I can use the gold symbols that are added to my fund each day from taxes, or I can collect and sell goods. Cool. He'll probably use taxes, let's be honest. He is a god. Renik Kareb Asun. Osi Konim Konig. Duvain Zellerig. Okay. What should we get? I think we'll get food. Just buying a bunch of fruits. Apples, two barley, three cheese, five pounds. Okay, cool. Two salt. A svelte lady approached Adriana, then bowed. I've heard word of your arrival, and in honour I've prepared two gifts to help as you build your kingdom. However, I shall only give you one of them. The gift you receive depends on your answer to the question. What virtue would you rather bring to Willowdale? As I build my kingdom, I'll value the safety of my people over our, event, our, over our offensive strength. My people are my heart. Or power. The fierce strength of a kingdom is of utmost importance. A kingdom with no power is no kingdom at all. A kingdom with no power is no kingdom at all. The lady nodded. Very good. Very good. Your Highness, you are wise indeed. Then I present you with the gift of authority. The monarch's blade of strength. It is not the best sword, but let it symbolise your goal as you build Willowdale into a great bustling kingdom. Cool. Let's grab my inventory. Instead of long sword equip, let's go equip that one. Attack three, weight five, quality normal. Attack 
four white flags. As a woman in the town square, she pushed me in the mud and called me names. This can't happen in real life. A bully in my kingdom? I don't think so. Location. Okay, you're done. We'll follow you. Okay, we should double that while we wait. And then we can... What are we doing? Oh, cool! We get to send it to the stop. Nice. Go on and collect that flower. Go to me! Yes, I can. Cool. Go collect that then. Come discover this. And collect this. Discover this. You like the queen? It's good to be queen. The lady, thanks for responding to my plea for help. For your great kindness, I pledge to be your loyal servant from this day forward. I will wait you in the throne room. Well, thank you. Yes. Make yourself a little friend. Yeah. Can you see Ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 I, a traveling merchant, bring many luscious and succulent goods for your perusal. Perusal. Please approach me for the most consummate service of my trade. Not to risk modest discourse, modest discourse, but the sign of a practiced bard is not only the melodious poetry of his musical composition, but also stalwart physique from his commitment to his craft. Well, hello, good looking. I assume a few visitors have arrived while I was out. I do believe I see a visitor who catches my eye. Ooh, okay. So, two people. Who are we looking for? Oh, you're one of them. Okay. Minstrel Jacob. Got it, got it. Okay. There he is, Minstrel Jacob. All right. Or... There she is. Trader Jen. Um, personally, I think she would prefer him. Aros the moneylender, but okay. 
Um, for now, you can. Minstrel Jacob, the rugged, handsome bard. I've always been a sucker for bard. Good thing. Wilson, Fimet, Jeropen, not yet grown. Tigram, Dronsival, Tanesh, Dubarim, Glory, Ah. Oh, seed. Oh, the robust yet exquisite wildflower. Mm. Such a virtues of the most capable and most enchanting queen. Ah, the early blossoms of love. I can't wait to see the other handsome travellers that'll come to Willowdale. Perhaps I could even start a family with one of them. Now where was I? Ah, yes. I should deliver the resources to build Master Uriah. Projects. Give <laughs> resources. Where are you gonna put my food, friend? Are you still cooking? Still cooking? Still cooking? Still cooking? These look great, Your Grace. Give me some time to take inventory, and I'll make sure we have enough re resources for the next building you wish. Ah. <laughs> Looks like I have some time to myself. Mm. I can get to know my townspeople, explore my kingdom, or just relax. Or, being queen, I can take I can tackle my many daily responsibilities. In fact, at any time during a quest, I can take a break from the quest tasks and do whatever I want. There are no consequences as long as my focus is high, unless I spend an entire day ignoring my quest. <laughs> Where are you bringing my food from? And then you can go to bed. Because it is like 11 p.m. Lovely. Why are you throwing up? Oh. Rude. A yummy meal? Then why did you throw up? I don't understand this woman. Oh well. Good thing I don't have to understand her. Alright besties, it is 5.12pm, once she wakes up I'm going to pause the game and then I'll be back in a moment because I need to feed my cats, otherwise they are going to get very antsy and start bugging me for like crazy. Responsibilities are key to my rule, forming them will keep me focused and staying focused means I get more critical resources to build my kingdom. I need an advisor to help me keep my responsibilities in order. I write a letter of hire and send it off immediately. <laughs> Sleep until 5.30 okay. am 
sleeping. There we go. We're waking up. We are waking up. Okay. Pause the game. I will save it. Yep, Willow Dale. Lovely. Okay. Just queue up making the bed. And I'll be back momentarily back. See you soon.
Hi, besties. I'm back. <laughs> okay. So we are going to jump back into the Sims Medieval. Ta-da! Sims Medieval. Okay. So I'm an idiot now. Let's actually play. Okay, let's make bed and then we'll go. And we'll write a letter of pile. And then we will propose an edict. Truben Renek Kaner. Banis. Shiyun in play, Maralk. And then establish an official apprentice pro apprenticeship program for all professionals and craftsmen, or send excess dung from Trudoni to Kraftol, because that place smells bad already. You know she would propose that one. Um, send letter of fire. Okay, send excess dung from Trudoni to Craft Hall, because that place smells bad already. The throne will support the family of any builder injured while on the job until that builder can return to work. No, that means she's going to lose money. Taxes for villagers who do not work within the bounds of the castle will be decreased. No, that means she'll lose money. That one. All the edicts failed. Damn. Okay. Well. Propose an extra edict. Sinab Kunet for me. Tax Tridonian gem exports to help relieve the mushroom crisis in Craftsville. Establish tax on craftspeople such that merchants and traders will make larger profits. Um, Check the gem exports. Go for the That one. Okay, they all failed again. Well, we're gonna go hunt a bear. Or, no, we'll ask her for advice. Please go ask for advice. Oh. <laughs> Lady, to be honest, this throne room is a bit lacking. You need to furnish a better if you're going to impress any foreign leaders or professionals. You'll need some moles to purchase items, so I'm adding to your funds. Usually you will make some moles every day from taxes or refilling resources that you collect. Okay, cool. Well, let's... All for food. Dubain! <sighs> Where's an extra edict? Yeah. Ah! Poor folk. Ah, Okay, so the tax on the goods imported into Willowdale. Additional guards sent to the village on market days to help prevent stealing and mugging. That would be good. Requires seals of royalty for anyone working inside the castle. Um. Tax. Yay! One of them passed. Hmm. Cool, that does get me done with that. 
and my crew has that come along. Go sit there. And grab a bowl. And while you're eating, we're wow. going to furnish it. Storage, maybe? Hello, uh, Dillian McDillian. <laughs> uh, yes, that is Hufflepuff on the wall. <laughs> How are you today? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the... Um, Welcome to the stream. That's the word I was looking for. Function. Yes, yeah, sort that kind of domestic. How much do I need for the larder? 550. Okay. We can make more money. That's cool. Back to live mode for now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. After this. We'll go to location. Collect some flowers, collect some flowers, so that I can sell them afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I would be interested to see what uh, Sims 5 has in store. I'm not sure how different it would be though, and I'm not sure if I would like it, because with the way gaming's been going lately, I'm not sure how I would feel about a new sim. I'd definitely keep playing Sims 4 though, for a fair while. <laughs> there we go. Let's... Um, change up a bit into my channel, and then disgusted by premises. Okay, cool, good job. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I'll probably put off buying it until it's at the very least um, playable. But I'll probably still get it too. <laughs> as long as it's actually something I'd be into. If it's 100% multiplayer or online or something, I don't think I'd be into that at all. So there'd be no point to me buying it. Well, unable to find the great bear. Hunt for the great bear. Adriana tracked down a large black bear to its feeding ground. Surprising the animal, she, she dispatched the furry honey lover with a single blow, carving out four nice chunks of bear meat to take home. Good job. Good job. Okay. We did that. Let's go home. That. 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 that one I can. I'm just going around discovering the mm. mm. Collect wildflowers. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, same stuff every year. It's not great, it's not great, but there's not much else, is there? But, but, but. Until I have 
Jurinella, Rase, Musique. Let's for now and get a bunch of those. I'm just selling a bunch of these so that I can. I don't want to sell all of them though. Oh, why? I don't want to sell them one at a time either. Fine, I'll sell them like one at a time. Riveting content, I'm sure. Surely we won't need more than ten. I'll take down to like ten of them. Okay, these ones. Again, we'll take them down to like ten of them. What can you even do with seeds? I know I can use them in cooking when I get the right stuff for it, but other than that, I don't know what to use it for. Okay, ten of them. Read the Warframe socket. Well, Grim Zesser. Renal Nari. Yamok Barem Was Judge Guilty of the beatings of which they were accused. I take great pleasure in signing this work. Renal Renal Venoli. I will sign the royal arrest warrant. There we go. Lovely, and then we are going to send them to the pit. Relic. Okay. Then <laughs> and then I want to throw stuff at it. Constable is on his way to arrest. Collect the flowers. Location would be the judgment zone. Oh, 
go. And then... Lovely. Come on. Oh, I'm already in it. <laughs> Domestic, let's get the wooden ladder. I wonder if this will work. Yeah, I didn't think it would work. Oh, that's cool. We can just pop it there. And let's save again. Here. Can I grab it? Thank you. Lovely. Let's start putting stuff in here. Mm -hmm. This player's a throne room open. How do I do that? Yenekwane's Brechlin Kalu. This player's a throne room open. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Just put away all of the food. All the food away. Food to put away, I think I've bought some. At least I won't have to restock for a while, eh? Oh gosh, so many things to put away. I should pause the game. It's 9pm and I'm hungry and Hope for food. Wood. Thank you. What's that? Egg? Yep, I can get one. Oh, yep, seeds. You can make seeds and soup or something like that. There we go. Where's our food? There it is. Come and eat your soup. If you viewed the political situation. Is that you? Yes, good. If you view the political situation, you did not. Okay. Good job. Would you like to view it? Yeah, view the political situation, bestie. Why are you 
are you vomiting after every meal? I'm so confused. It's after every single meal. Okay, here we go. What will you build, your highness? There are enough resources in stock. And builders are already. One question remains for Toby. What will you build? Okay. What are we gonna build? A wizard's tower? Clinic? The smithy? Ooh, I reached monarch level two. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a Jacobin Saint Cathedral and the Curran Monastery. Furnished barracks. Let's choose a knight. Sam Dodson is full of the sea, adventurous, and a drunkard. That seems fitting. Lindsay Rasmussen. That's my family life. That's cool. Is a hopeful orphan, vain, and bloodthirsty. Oh. Um, both are fun options. I think we go Lindsay Ramsey because she's not so sea focused. Cool. Sorry, Lindsay Rasmus. There you go, Lindsay. Enjoy your new time in the barracks. Love it. Okay. Quest time. What quest are we going to pick? I'm excited to pick another quest, Bessie. Okay. Ominous tide. Prelude to the war. Wreckage from a ship has washed ashore in Rip Willowdale. Along with it, a survivor of a deadly attack which sunk the vessel. Is this simply another ship lost to the perils of the open sea, or is the danger creeping toward the east? Oh. Um. Okay. Royal Holiday. We probably want to use one of them soon. Royal Review. Heard of the land is called the story of one union. Recent war was during a particular fire from the peasants. Fisherman's Challenge. The Legend of the Talking Frog. Okay, let's do Legend of the Talking Frog. Why not, right? Talking Frog's leg. Or a Toadry Roman? Oh, there's no valid approach. No, I want to turn the frog, so we're gonna wait until we have somebody we can actually do that with. Let's go with Power Grab for now. 
train domestic support. Winning the hearts and minds of the people is the best way to secure one's position as a ruler of the kingdom. And for such a charming leader, he would not be much of a challenge. Yes, foreign support. Foreign recognition of the monarchy was essential to legitimizing its authority. The castle would host a few foreign dignitaries and secure their support. Secure the support of local dignitaries, definitely. Okay. 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 Building up people's confidence was not always easy, especially when they came from different cultures. But the Queen was ready for the challenge. Earning the respect of Willowdale's neighbours would increase Lady, Lady Adriana's status at home. What do you want me to do first? View political situation again. Okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. Hey, Eva! Yaga did I think focusing on my closest neighbors as a is a sound strategy. I'll seek out the support of Tony and Prado. Nay, I shall invite leadership on both pairs. Yes, my heart. Parfait. Now, Lish Karen von Set. Firas. Yeah. I'm sorry, I need that table. Photos! Wait! Hmm. Black Reflex, I'm sorry. 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 i let us learn from each other so that we may forge the mightiest bonds of our world. Yours truly, Lady Adrian. The letter read. Dearest, dearest Tredoni, it has been far too long since persons of your neighbouring lands have met face to face to rejoice in our alliance. I humbly request the company of Tredoni leadership to share in the glory of our kingdom. Come visit and spend time with us so that our two lands can forge the strongest bonds of friendship. Yours truly, Lady Adriana. Next, I need to give assignment to Royal Advisor Sabbath. Uh, yeah, bro. Oh, oh, swear. Uh, okay, cool. it. Mm. Arbitrage. I'm tired, though. So, I'm actually going to go to sleep first. while I go to sleep. Ooh. The restless sleep quickly devolved into a parade of monstrosities, horrific visions, all slavering over the prone and helpless Lady Adriana. No matter which way she turned, the horrors pressed ever closer. Confront the horrors. Lady, Ian, Lady Adriana saw little choice but to challenge the wicked phantasms head on. Or run. Terror filled Lady Adriana's heart. Her only chance to survive was to run. Run far away. Lady Adriana turned quickly and ran away from the horrors. The surge forward and renewed blood. The murky landscape around the bed became a sheer cliff, stopping Adriana in her tracks. As the inevitable fatal blow struck her from behind and she began to fall, Adriana awoke with a chill cry of fear. It would be several minutes before she fell back into a light sleep. Received nightmare advice. Yikes, I hope I don't have that dream again. Ooh. The servant is not currently at my sims location. That's cool. I want to make food. Mm. How about... Salmon soup. Mm. Oh, you're cooking? Okay.
Oh, why are you sleeping there? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a rally. There. <laughs> Royal advisor sir, I want you to collect our guests and ensure the safe arrival. Most importantly, I want you to keep your eyes and ears open and find out everything you can on them. I expect a full report when you return. Understand? Yes, Your Majesty, I shall not fail you. Emphema! Oh. <laughs> Wait for the first to return with the digging rooms. Okay. Hello, guard brother. Come on, chat. <laughs> How's your he health? I want to get to know you. Religion? Okay, cool. Yabrel. The monarch was pleased to see that royal advisor's cabin had returned quickly. It appeared that the invitations were accepted as much as Princess Marion of Chirani and Smith Master's parents of Frapol were followed. By the looks of it, each brought an additional guest. It was perfectly normal that they not travel alone at all, but there was something about the strangers. More than ever, Lady Adriana wished to hear the advisor's report. Well, okay. Uh, get detailed report. Crow Ferga. Yeah. I studied them carefully, just as you are. I cannot believe that Merchant Princess Marianne of Triodoni's spouse came along. In fact, I cannot even believe that those two were married. Rumor has it that the Merchant Princess Ma Marianne of Triodoni is quite ra the randy dandy. Every cute young thing we pass on our journey had her eyes all over him. A lot of nerve, that one. On the other hand, Smithmaster Terence of Craftall seems to be the consummate professional. I could observe no ill habits nor hear any negative rumours. In fact, the only vice that Smithmaster Terence of Craftall seems to have is a weakness for sweet drinks. Oh, and Craftall protector Shelvin is usually within yelling distance in case of any trouble. A pretty heavy emphasis seems to be placed on personal safety. Okay. Um, welcome to Willowdale. Actually, welcome to Willowdale. You vain! Would you like to go away to your food? Disgusted? Growing up? Wonderful, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, let's see. Okay. 
But I like the color of it. Oh no, that's it. There we go, right? Lovely. That's much better. Why don't we change the table to be something like that as well? Let's see. No, it's better with that kind of thing. Um. Where do I want? Okay, I'm done. Uh, we will get some... Where are we? I wanted the stone oven as well. Pop that there. Okay. I would like you to welcome you to Tavernia. I mean, Willowdale. Ah, Vincent! Thank you for such a lovely invitation. It's lovely to see you. Please allow me to introduce my lovely staff to you. Please make yourself at home. My servants are at your disposal. Welcome to Willowdale. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hi, <laughs> Willowdale. Cute. <laughs> you want to go welcome to Willowdale, please? <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you for having me. I've brought along my trusted protector. I go nowhere without my most skilled bodyguard. Can't be too careful in this day and age, am I right? It is great to have you here. My people will keep us safe, but of course your bodyguard is welcome here. I hope you have <laughs> Jeffrey, a she on crow. The leader of Krakow is a bit paranoid. He has a weakness for feet for sweet food and drink. The leader of Trevoni has seemingly low moral standards and is always on the lookout for the next roll in the hay. How can I best leverage this information to my advantage? Okay, Merchant Princess Marianne of Trinoni loves to love. How should a Lady Adriana handle her? I'll seduce the leader and then use it as blackmail. Or Merchant Princess Marianne of Trinoni's marriage has probably just run out of spark. I'll teach them some new tricks to rekindle the flame. Uh, what about this? Smithmaster Terence of Krakow loves sweets. How will Lady Adriana handle him? Poison. Give him poison candy, then offer the antidote, if they support my rules. Treat. I'll gain support by impressing Smith Master Terence of Krakow with the most delicious drink in all of Willowdale. That one. Um... No blackmail. No blackmail. Okay, so send Savin off on errands and become friends with the spouse. There you go, there's Savin. Send on errands. What's the hmm. saying? Fair maidens attract more dragonlings <laughs> than old knights. I think you can entice me to ask a parent of the trapper by offering the most of the delicious food. Hey, Okay, 
How embarrassing. Is it that obvious? Imagine Princess Mariana Tredoni is completely bored with me and I can't rekindle that interest. I just wish there was something I could do. I think I can help you. Being queen does tend to have a disadvantage with us, although let's see what we can do to bring the fire back into your life. Sense of regard. Not only did she supply you with a copy of her own one of a kind cookbook, but she supplied all she also in supplied all the ingredients. She didn't even charge me full price. She must really be smitten with you. Okay, cool. Well, what else is there to do? Send Royal Advisor Sabin out shopping. Okay. Send shopping. Wait for the spouse to return and read. Sweet book of sweets. Now head to the village with the shopping list and return with these items. Feel free to spring for the good stuff. Mm -hmm. So we read. Oh. Oh. How do I make them? She's shopping for ingredients. Uh, 
Now we're broken up. Yeah, I thought I might be able to choose Sweet Sunshine Sangria. There we go. <laughs> No, I would not. Um, serve drink to. Smith Miles to Terence of Craft. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Uh, check out the South Maid Marion's new look. Okay. She actually near it. Yeah, she is. Lovely. We'll get to that in a second. First Oh! 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 Oh my watcher. I can't believe how delicious this is. I've never had a drink so amazing in all my life. Where did you find this recipe? I simply must have it. Please oh please. Well, I like you. So I'll tell you what. Recipe book is yours. If you say continue to support my leadership for the foreseeable future. Seems fair. Joy to you and your household. My meal my measly loyalty and self-respect are no match for an eternal spring of sweet sunshine sangria. From now on, I am yours to command. He was easily born. Okay. Go check out a new look. Change recipe for Odie, now you're in a. Ah, Zola, you're bad. Ah, that barber ah. is a miracle. Koenig. He took at least 20 years off your face. You look absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Ask your badger about that. Okay, where is she? Where's my badger? There. Ask about the spies, please. Chug left. Nah, <laughs> 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 Two sets of revealing unmentionables and one <sighs> love scented candle. Excellent. Now go to the secret spot in the woods and I'll send Merchant Princess Marianne of Trevoni's spouse to you. I want you to instruct them in the proper usage of each of these items. <laughs> okay. Go discover that while you're here. Ooh, you just completed Nick of Time with five points towards your Watcher Achievement Level. Nick of Time. To fill a responsibility with less than 15 minutes left. Oh man, that's kind of lame. Okay, cool. Prepare. Prepare. Thank you, guys. Help! Bodhi, Narithine, Zola, your bed. Leash. Okay. Lovely, great for her to return. While we're waiting, we will pour the food. Darute! <laughs> Ooh, bring us something in the new one. Lovely. Oh. Go sit here. Never mind. Mm. Mm. Good, what is it? Royal Grog! 
Yup, but okay. Would you like to go to sleep now? Why do you always vomit off the tree together? Oh, weak constitution. while she's asleep. <laughs> your dream started out with you in the tavern, having a beverage. You pulled out some music to, li to liven the evening. Ah, okay. I've heard this one before. Two famous bards, one wordsmith, Andy Ireland, sang a bawdy and comically ironic tale of brood luck. The other sang a ballad of pirate adventure, both um, pirate adventure because it's got more money in it. <laughs> okay, we are awake. It is 8 a.m. We are a little bit hungry. That's all. Let's. Let's get the detailed report. <laughs> it's an amazing transformation, Highness. The very spouse Marion picked up every lesson as quickly as I could deliver it. The rain of dancing dirty was especially effective. I nearly fell under its charms myself, but I escaped with honor. Should only spouse Marion will. Still participates in the woods as we speak. Sorry, still practices in the woods as we speak. Send off to me. Prepping. Tenzin left. Yeah, but no. Tenzin and Nisa. Cholem. Now you've had your cravings on the side, but you won't need to do that anymore, my ally. Please travel into the woods and see what we have prepared. Yeah. Stay loyal to me, Merchant Princess Marianne of Chironi. I know how to take care of my friends. Wait for the lovers to return. Easy. Oh, Blev. Who are you? That's bad health. Ah, ooh. Swim below skin, hapisa. Great one. I dug up this locked box of gold on my farm. The constable demands I give it to the kingdom. Must I? My farm is failing and I could use this money to plant more crops. Hey, free money. In Yabe Dosin. Yabe Kanek. Ah. Du Jen. Ooh, people disprove of her. Well, that's less than I do. Okay. Eva. What do you want? Bogan. Mm. Uh, Tamiet. Kalaratu. Mm. Mm. Batu. Mm. Okay. Um, your whale is failed. Your Highness, merchants report that your primary shipping route has come under attack from a dire whale. We must fund an expedition to find it and destroy it with the holy harpoon. There are no dire whales, and I will not waste resources chasing down some merchant's silly superstition. Tobra warul, ye saba wofa, 
It's ah, of course. Her wreck. It must have been some <laughs> other undead sea monster. Ah, decent, so bad. <sighs> Later, Adriana's in popularity has increased. Go figure. Oh, fresh, Hmm. I'd like to have a female sheep from the royal flock. All my ewes died. May I please have them? Grant an ewe. I do not let my poor subject flock die. No, you for you. <laughs> Monarch is not to be bothered with the affairs of livestock. No, you for you. In Yabe Dosi. Yabe Kanek. Fep. Du Jen. Vintage Robin. Nay. Question Ojene. Question And was forced to try some new things I'd never even thought of. What can I say? I'm your eternal pawn to command, your highness. Thanks. Galem Trigam Chadeus. Okay, cool. Finish the quest. As the renown of Willowdale grew, its political standing amongst the various foreign territories also rose. Before long, Willowdale found itself in dire need of grand accommodations to house the ever-increasing flow of foreign dignitaries. So, with a flurry of activity and peasant groaning, the grand reception hall was finally unveiled. Cool. What are we going to build next? Watch your pavilion. Peter and Monastery. Trojan Cathedral, Kingball Fort, Kingball Fort Towns, a single grave for children in the area, all the community entertainment. Maybe, maybe. I'm still thinking the tavern or the market. Um. Let's go with the market for now. Furnish. A new merchant. Aldred McCabe is a hopeful orphan. He's eloquent and he's morose. Gail is a creative cook, earthy, and bloodthirsty. I think we need I a Cute. Karen Flint. Okay. Fit, cook, friendly, insecure. Yeah, that works for me. Okay. Do we have any money for anything else? No? No, we have no resources. That's okay. Choose new quest. do that one still. Okay, cool. Um, war game, king for a day. Royal review. Crab bandit. Mysterious rumor was circulating around the town. A beast lurked below the depths of Willowdale. Stories were coming from too many sources to be simple folklore. Was this beast a monster with plans to destroy the town? Or was it simply a misunderstood creature looking for a friend? There was always room for a new alliance in a growing kingdom, especially an alliance that contributed to the safety of the people. Such partnerships could often be found in the strangest of places. 
Could a subterranean kingdom hold the key to Willowdale's security? We'll do it with the mop. Great innovation of security always came from humblest beginnings. For the Tredonians to develop their specialized crossbow technology by studying the wounds of their villains. The impregnable walls of Crossbow. <laughs> someone just slapped someone in the corner of the screen. That was great. <laughs> Your the impregnable so walls of Kalko were developed Kampa by Ru, a lowly mud pusher who discovered the secret of masonry. Captain X tried to make the field of King's security was merely waiting for the Willow Day. If it kept her citizens safe, Lady Adriana was sure to find a key. Write a letter to the mentor, okay? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google it. Give me a sec to Google it quickly. Um, six carat Sims medieval. Um. Okay, so the village shop. By interacting with a person collecting parts of bird. Oh, okay. So, I think what I'll do then is go into here. So, we'll take all the items, collect the wall bones, wall bones. Um, I'm looking for... That's 99. Um... I just want a better... Yeah, that one's better. Okay. Treasure Trellis 8. Okay. Back to live mode. And purchase that. Lovely. Much better. There she is. Bonnie's. Oh, do I want an Amazon parrot or a peregrine? Well, no, I need a parrot. Amazon parrots are known for their playfulness and ability to imitate speech. Make fine companions for staving off boredom during long voyages at sea. Send to attack. I don't remember who mm. then needs to attack. Mm. Uh, Six one. Three. Guild emissary. 
Oh, she missed. <laughs> Okay, you pull that music and wait, what? Kishem on Jeb. Nerib, your cat, Parsa, Parinda, This here is what I call a lens. Any enemy of Willardale who steps on this the short of Rue the day he challenged your push. Vajorab! This is who? Thank you for all your time. I'll get back to you. Lauren Jody. Wishesna Venik. No, Zale. 
Blev. Sounds too good to be true? Just step aboard my flying machine here and I'll show you the true power. Flying machine? That sounds too good to be true. He's pointing to it. I don't see anything. Where is the... Is it over? Oh, this person is insane. <laughs> I relate to that. I relate to that. Is this a landmine? Okay, cool. And discussing the oh, yeah. Crazy old have you ever heard of the crab bandit? By the way, did I drink crazy garlic this morning? Crab bandit? Are you the same? I'm not crazy. I am a little crazy. But beneath Willowdale lives a giant half crab half man monster, the Crab Bandit. Legends speak of a time when great kings and queens made alliances with the beasts of yore. Reforge this forgotten alliance, and Willowdale will be stronger than ever. You might choose not to believe me because of my se severe insanity, but you'd believe Mas Build Master Uriah, wouldn't you? <laughs> Oh, Dark gods are secretly practicing dark magic. I just know it. Okay, pure and friendly. Get next! Ha ha ha, let's go. Okay, the servant is not currently here. That's cool. We will just go to sleep for the evening, I guess. It is 12 a.m. after all. Oh, sleep, 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 sleep. <laughs> lots of sleeping, lots of sleeping. While we're sleeping, let's talk about some of these.
Ooh, time to get this out. There we go. Perfect. Ready for the. Me, a little bugger. That is my curse. Ooh, royal bear. Yeah, bear. <laughs> royal mm. bear. Her first word is beef, by the way. So Galosib Coden Jabelis Oname We track down the bear properly. Oh. Um, I don't know where the bandit cave is. You're not showing me a mark. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Search for the crab bear. I can't believe I'm actually inside a cave looking for a crab bandit. I'm as nutty as the inventor of the flying machine. Simultaneously, Lady Ar Adriana met the crab bandit and realized that this whole adventure had been a terrible idea. <laughs> she screamed and quickly retreated from the cave. What in the watcher's in name? The crab bandit was real? I must ask the old man more. Here in Karos, Unsin, Mobalim. You saw oh. him? It was really him? Did he have his fabled moustache of legend? Oh, Lady Adriana, you must seek counsel with him. If you can grant him the three tokens of gratitude, you join no forces brilliant. with Willowdale. Now say things be assured. We've been working. Okay. Yernive. Pleband. Velpib. Hifiob. Dalron. Mosum. Mued Sikom. Help. Listen to his three demands, Lady Adrian thought. Does the crab bandit even speak? She carefully approached the crab bandit. Um, hello, she said to the beast. I'm here about the, uh, the tokens? Gratitude tokens? Something like that? The crab bandit gestured towards his clothing, a tattered cloth around his waist, and a sash across his chest. The crab bandit grunted loudly. The crab bandit tapped his walking stick loudly upon the cave floor. The crab skittered from the, black, from the back of the cave and looked up expectantly. The crab bandit looked at Lady Adriana, knowingly. Finally, Crab Bandit lifted his claw to his face, gently stroking his magnificent moustache. A single tear rolled down his crabby cheek. The requests were complete. Oh, makes sense, makes sense. Crazy. 
The crab bandit clearly gestured to his clothing. What action should Lady Adriana take? I guess he wants a new pair of clothes, or maybe he didn't like my choice in perfume. I guess I could buy something new. Well, the crab bandit has made some motion towards the smaller crabs. What action will Lady Adriana take? Could it be that his little crabs are hungry? I could bring them some food, I guess. Maybe he wants me to have one of his crabs. To take as my ward? I'm taking a crab as my ward. The crab bandit seemed pained when he touched his moustache. What actions will Lady Adriana take? A glorious moustache like that clearly needs moustache wax. That's clearly what the bandit wanted. He could want a mustachioed sacrifice to appease him and his children. Nah, glorious moustache. Moustache wax. Okay, what are we doing here? Ask a child to be the ward. Okay. Ask that moustache. Ah. Mm -hmm. Would you look at that? A child. Would you be a good ward to a crab bandit, do you think? Do we think this kid would be a good crab bandit child ward? What's your name, kid? Squire Magnus. Oh, well, I can't do a squire. Ruined. Okay. Make food at a fireplace and create a mustache wax. Request landmine shipment. Ooh, Monarch level 4. Okay. <laughs> really? You want them? I'll have more made right away. Do you have any other requests, Malie? <laughs> my, my clothes? Well, okay, you're the queen. Great. <laughs> the crab bandit will love this. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, we need to just be There we go. I need bottle of ink, eel, and leech. 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 Ink, eel, 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 leech. Ink, eel. The items are mine. Let's go home. Actually, no, we don't even need to go home. Let us. Um. May as well go home. Oh, wait, there's a child. Lemerche, but grow. Little Bernardo? So oh. Corbett Tame Grouch. Okay, little Bernardo. I'm gonna make you a ward. Cody. Cody is not I'm a ward? That sounds Zola. lovely to me. You'll I'll happily serve my kingdom. Hey, that's great. Meet me near the graveyard. Okay. Haha, <laughs> Zay <laughs> Wogan. So collect them. Then Make food. Massage wax. Oh. Ah. Hmm. 
Everything's ready except for all these things. Oh, Change your oh, outfit into a oh. course. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, nice. A foul pie lock. Pop it in the larder. Okay, and then it's bedtime. Very much sleeping. So, so much sleeping. I'm going to sleep until 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Would we like to do anything before we go out on this? Call the Amazon. I'm going to pet him, feed him. Yeah, what should we name him? Um, Bernie. I don't know why. His name's Bernie. Talk to Bernie. Send Bernie treasure hunting. Batu. Uh-huh. Mm. 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 And you throw up again, probably. Well, okay. Send him to cave. Okay, kiddo. Let's go into the cave. In, in there? Well, okay. You'll come get me someday, though. Right? You promise. Right? And you return with an extravagant map piece. Perfect. Okay, wait, I'll check the, inside the cave for my wall. Disobra. Live a fat. <laughs> Lady Adriana neatly bundled up the fat clothes and left them in the cave. When the crab bandit would really do with them, she would never know. Live with a mustache ah, back. Farrell! By the, now that child has found the cave band. Uh, the crab bandit. I should search the cave for my ward. I hope they fit. At least they'll have to fit better than that dirty sash, right? This time Lady Adriana had difficulty finding the crab bandit's lair. She was turned around in an endless identical cavern. Finally, however, she stumbled across a small altar cut into the rock, complete with indentations that perfectly held the bottle of wax. How could the crab bandit have known? Yeah, the Lisa. And find Crabbling Ward. Request complete. The Crab Bandit's moustache will be the finest in the land once more. Lady Adriana stumbled through the cave until she found a small cage. Tiny skittering noises could be heard from within. The child sent in as a ward was nowhere to be seen. A very own Sensible. crab bandit ward. Sensible. I better take care of him, him, her, whatever. That's it. All three requests are complete. I should try and meet the crab bandit one more time to make sure the alliance is final. 
Finalize Tolek, Tonana, Korun. There. Oh, say crap. The request has been fulfilled. It was time for Lady Adriana and the Crab Bandit to finalize the alliance between Willowdale and the Underground Crab Kingdom. She carefully approached the Crab Bandit. Um, hello, she said to the beast. I'm here about the, uh, the tokens? Gratitude tokens? Something like that. The Crab Bandit gave a slight nod towards Lady Adriana. A slight smile tugged at the corners of his crabby mouth. One of the smaller crabs scuttled forward and handed Lady Adriana a magnificent moustache, modelled after the crab bandit's own fanciful whiskers. The alliance was secure. <laughs> I want to wear it! Come here, let me see your face. Come on. There you are. Wear it. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Where are you? <laughs> Daron Molesh Nodes Minaga. Oh, it finished. Okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> I have a moustache now. I am very fancy. Kingball Court. Lighthouse Clinic. Wizard's Tower, Spy Quarters, um, let's go with, the Tavern, I think, of course, New Bard, Sam Dodson or Nora O'Connor. Sam Dodson is a cold, sea adventurous, and a drunkard. Nora is loves family, excitable, and puny. Nora O'Connell it is. And we've reached Monarch level 5. We're doing pretty good. Okay, what quest do we do this time? A missing child. Willowdale was abuzz with the news of a child gone missing. Recovering the child safely would be an incredible boon to Kingdom Morale, or a rash of bruises. Although Willowdale was growing and prospering, its people were ridiculed for their general ignorance and uncouth behaviour. It was time to take stand and change the ill-mannered ways of the people. For Ofortuna, those all have exclamation points and I don't know why. A band of wandering travellers was hosting a fortune festival in the town square, offering games of chance, mystical artifacts for sale, and precious insights into the future. All citizens of Willowdale were encouraged to visit the festival and try their luck on the whirling wheel of fortune. Um, okay. I think we'll have some fun with this one. Shopkeeper Karen might be a fun one to play. Dame Lindsay. Or... Her, shopkeeper Karen. Love her. A troop of gypsies had arrived in Willowdale the previous night to sell a camp in the town square. They were hosting an event called the Fortune Festival, which, at least according well, to rumour, <laughs> some were calling the festival Black Tell me. by curiosity herself, decided to put on the undergarments and the festival. And I, yeah. Okay, I will indeed. Do I have a thing to find out? Who's the belly? A Fiji, a Hebridite, Shailen, Carthon, Samay. Pefimza. Okay, clothing. I like your current outfit, so we'll keep it. Um, I want something a bit more festival vibes. Ah. 
That gives me hmm. a bit more festival vibes. John. Maybe a bit less um Oops, wrong thing, wrong button. I wanted to adjust this one. Get this green thing. There we go. And then we'll adjust that to get more yellowy green. That's nice. This one we'll do Nice deep green. Over here we'll leave this there. And then that part of the skirt. Nice light green light kind of color. And then the sleeves can stay white. Lovely. Oh, hello, Jackalopa. <laughs> thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. <coughs> Welcome, everybody, to the stream. Oh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Thank you, Paige96 for the follow. Thank you, Shikan07 for the follow. Hello, Vauclair. Hello, Paige. Hello, Shikan. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome into the chat and into my stream. Yes, I am Aussie. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I've never actually met, not never, I don't usually meet many people from New Zealand. And yes, Volclair, this is The Sims Medieval. <laughs> love having more, more Kiwis and Aussies in my, in my stream. Love it, love it. I'm sorry, you've got me a bit tongue-tied at the moment. <laughs> oh dear, thank you. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. I'm getting emotional. Um, thank you, Rocky Squid. Thank you, Volclair. Thank you, Lol Grill for the follows. <laughs> and hello, Rocky Squid. Hello, Lol Grill. <laughs> Neither Kiwi nor Aussie is fine by me. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> and welcome everybody into my channel. And yes, yes, I am a Hufflepuff, as you can see by... Oh, where's, where's my arm? Where's my arm? There it is. <laughs> as you can see by the banner, I am a Hufflepuff, but I do not necessarily support the creator of uh, Harry Potter. Um, things are good, Jackalopa. Things are good. How was your stream? What were you guys playing? What were you all up to? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm getting all teary-eyed. <laughs> oh, okay. Compose myself. Welcome to the stream. I am Yellow Cyber Gee. Um, we play a lot of Sims here. A lot of Sims. Um, we also play things like House Flipper. Uh, things like Stardew Valley. Um, I've got a bunch of other games I've played, but I don't really play them much on stream. So, that's fine. Um, I I might be playing a bit of unpacking on stream sometime soon. Not sure when. But yes. Um, 
that is my channel and i hope you guys stick around for a bit <laughs> oh that's awesome zombies everywhere <laughs> awesome i don't necessarily vibe with zombies everywhere most of the time but when you're in the mood for that honestly it's a lot of fun sometimes i just love shooting things for no real reason we were just told to give a planned outfit to our shopkeeper that we are that we're playing with at the moment so i was just giving her a little bit of a more festival type outfit rather than a current work Bye. which we just finished with Oh, thank you. Thank you, Beauclair. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> thank you, Paige. I appreciate it. <laughs> I try and have good vibes in my stream. Um, I want people to feel welcome and I want it to feel like a warm place to come. <laughs> oh, it's a really fun game, Shikan. It's not like... Um, it's not like a lot of the other games. It's a lot more prep. Don't. No, no. Okay, good. I thought it was. Oh, I'm gonna save. I thought it was lags and everything. Yeah, it's actually a really fun game. Way more quest based than the. Um, way more quest based than all the other Sims. But um, it's based on the Sims 3 engine, actually, Jackalopa. That's why they're um, a little bit less plasticine looking. Um, yeah, it's based on the Sims 3 engine. It's a, a spin off of the Sims 3. It's a game. Yeah, Sims. Oh, whoopsie. Okay, let me change that. Thank you for letting me know, Libus Grace. Um, I completely forgot to change that. I changed everything else. Oh, not six medieval. Oh, duh. <laughs> Sims Medieval, please. Sims Medieval? Come on. Are you going to show up? Hello? Are you going to show up? This is irritating. Give me a sec, besties. I'm trying to change it to be the sim, the correct Sims. Why is it not showing up? Did I spell it wrong? No. Odd. Sims. Medieval. I'm spelling it right, aren't I? M-E-D-I-E-V-A-L. M-E-D-I-E-V-A-L. I don't think The Sims Medieval actually has yeah, I don't think it has a category, so I think I'm just going to have to put The Sims 3, which... The Sims 3 also does not apparently have a category. That's cool. That's great. Oh well. Oh well. Um... Sims. Try it one more time, I guess. No. My keyboard is sticky. Sims. Medieval. Oh, there it is. I don't know why it wasn't popping up before. It popped up this time, though. There we go. Yeah, I had to, like, try it three or four times to get it to work but i think it's updated now so got that going for us thank you for letting me know though i very much do appreciate it um i completely forgot to change the category <laughs> slipped my mind because i had tech issues at the start of stream i was gonna play not so very today but then uh, my game broke again i tried to load in for the game Wood some ye brill, yes, Cabril G. Sovre. Now, you should celebrate 
If I did a flip, I would probably break my neck. So, probably best I don't I do actually have a lot of hobbies. I love to play D&D or Dungeons and Dragons for those that don't know the abbreviation. Um, ask about the Fortune Festival. Oh, you purchased it. Um, yes, I also enjoy reading and painting uh, miniatures, whether it be Warhammer miniatures, D&D miniatures. I just enjoy painting them. Um, what else do I have? Like I said, I like reading, but I don't have a lot of time for it anymore. Um, drawing's pretty fun. I used to like uh, writing. I've got a lot of things. <laughs> I've tried making dice before, that was fun. Orbitrage. Mm. 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 Be mild and crazy. Afy flout throwers. Calvis and Ranch. Yes, yes, definitely a person of culture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I very much love RPGs. Um, if a game is just shoot and kill, I don't usually love it. It has to have at least some sort of story to it, or give me the ability to create story for it. Okay. Um, it might be, it might be. Let me try and fix the audio again. I've already turned it down, but I might have to turn it down more. Voices can be like there. I want the voices louder than everything else. And that should be better. Is that any better? Let me know if that's any better. Oh, who are you? I've been. So I decided to call this save Willowdale um, because of a viewer who suggested it, a pa gaming panda mummy. Uh, she suggests, or they suggested it before, and I figured, why not? It's like a predecessor for Willow Creek. And so the monarch is the ancestor for the goths. <laughs> okay, perfect. Perfect. Thank you for letting me know. Right. I do appreciate oh, that. Okay. Um, so green. Yeah, it's just, I can't hear it necessarily with me speaking myself. I can only see it on my, um, on my audio thing that was saying that it was quieter than it was. Obviously, if you guys didn't think it was quieter than it wasn't. <laughs> okay. I'm reading. Practice cards make small wish. Let's go practice cards first. Get a palm reading afterwards. because you're insecure. Oh, I relate. It hurts to be rejected, but fuck off. There are still lots of good fish in the sea. And hungry. Citation. Citation. Yeah. Okay. I want to go get a palm reading, bestie. Yeah. Very practice card. Mysterious gypsy moon. I like her. I like her. Child. That seems like a very impractical tent. Okay, we will get our stuff done. Sopkipu Karen stepped into the tent and was immediately engulfed by a thick smoke and the smell of incense. At the centre of the tent, a robed woman knelt before a crystal ball, muttering quietly, Have you come for a palm reading, shopkeeper Karen? For the small price of ten simol, I can study your fate. I can study your fate line, and estimate your time left on this earth. Ooh. Or for the modest price of fifty simols, I can read the lines of your palm and provide priceless insight into your relationships. Ooh, she is friendly, a creative cook, and insecure. So I think she would want to know about her relationships because she's insecure. So we'll get the premium. The robed woman said, 
You'll soon receive recognition from someone important and your relationship will blossom. You seem to be cheered up. Oh. Okay, cool. You know, Love that. Them. And visit the wishing well to make a small a beauty Uh-huh. Um, make a small Elba. Oi, kid, you're in my way. It's kind of adorable, though. Oh, oh little no. orphan? No. Oh. oh, that's and less than ideal. <laughs> yes, being an orphan is less than ideal, I guess. You're not technically wrong. I'm not technically wrong. Thank you, Parker Outside, for revving your engine. I love Grim. Just hit the car and must be lucky. The wish has been her. Now she's been granted the oddly powerful car. This, all, this is all harmless fun. Why are some of the villagers so opposed to the festival? My wish was granted, but I don't see an army of squirrels in matching uniforms anywhere. <laughs> oh my god, an army of squirrels in matching uniforms is adorable. That's really cute. I love that a lot. Okay, um, go collect that, I guess. Um, what else? Win twice at the game table. Okay. Play a game of cards with... Assistant Pig Keeper Nelson. Where are you, Bestie? There you are. Come on. There you go. Go play cards with the assistant pig keeper. has won the first round of the tournament. If she can win another match, there'll be a prize reward. Incredible. Shopkeeper Karen has won again. Wow. All right, two victories. I should go collect my prize from the festival. Ah! I wonder what it could be. You'll come. Okay. Cabrol. Collect the award. There it is. <laughs> Money lender Golda. You were an adorable little friend. Ah! Yeah. Oh, that's such a cute little friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Congratulations, Karen. Please take this figurine as thanks for participating in the events of this festival. Let fate guide your path. After all that gambling, I sure could use a swig of ale. Maybe something stronger. Okay. okay. Celebrate with a drink. Um, okay, I've got a brew a drink. Uh, let's brew some wine. There are two kinds of wine. Red wine and white wine. Even neither. I love it. Let us get it. Oh, go Oh. Okay. Mm. Love it. Mm. 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 You enjoy your drink, Betsy. Enjoy your drink. Is it a good drink? Mm. Mm. Nothing like the flavor of good fortune. Mm. What do you want to do now? Mm. I should take some time to relax and celebrate the fun events of the festival. This Pegasus figurine is a pretty good try. Ah. Okay. Can I tell you to relax? No? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Do you want to just chat with some people then? For Ursula Carpenter Lance. Good night, Carpenter Lance. Get to know. Huh? Ask about musical friends. Chat with him. Discuss artistic works. Discuss State of Kingdom. Oh, 
I know it's getting late, but do you have to go home? I kind of want to get the festival finished. Bang. I could just sleep here. Your eye, there ain't any. Elar Graham, the Cobra, Tirolsha, the Wolf. Ooh, I'm starting to feel a little warm. Okay. Take a nap in any bed. Okay. Is there a bed here? No. Do you want to go home then? Oh, you're home. Oh, perfect. I didn't realize you were already home. If I'd, if I'd realized that, I wouldn't have had you like not go home for so long. Go make food, best. Rules. I haven't bought you anything yet. Why auto mod? What is wrong with you? It's not bullying. Honestly, auto mod. All right. <laughs> It was really lovely to meet you as well, lol, grill. <laughs> thank you, thank you for coming with the raid, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day if there's more of your day left. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy tomorrow, and I hope the work you've got to do isn't too bad as well. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, you're a creative cook. What does that, what's that mean? Oh, less time. And the positive buff is actually eight. That's cool. Yes, definitely need a refreshing nap after this. I have cats that are in my nose again. I'm surprised the cats haven't tried to make an appearance yet begging for food. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Nap time. If you are. So, always got cat fur somewhere. Snoring loudly, shopkeeper Karen rolled over in bed. Images of card tables and crystal balls were replaced with glimmering heap of treasure. The rising scales of a draw of a sleeping dragon were visible amidst the masses of shining goblets, the jeweled crowns, and countless gold coins. Two large gems caught shopkeeper Karen's attention. Sapphire. An improbably large sapphire sat atop the dragon's hoard. It could be shopkeeper Karen's, if she was brazen enough to steal it. Or Ruby. If shopkeeper Karen was careful, she might be able to snatch the impressive Ruby lying at the base of the dragon stash. Um... Will we go for the Sapphire? Or the Ruby? Um... If we snatch the ruby, I'm fully expecting that all of the, I mean, I think it's a dream, so it doesn't matter, but I'm fully expecting all of the gold coins and everything to just go collapsing. But then if I climb it, I'll make a bunch of noise trying to climb it. So I'm not sure which one I want to do. I think I might go with ruby. Yeah, let's go with Ruby. Alrighty, Ruby it is. Shopkeeper Karen noticed the dragon waking from its slumber. It slowly reared its scaly head to inspect its surroundings. Terrified, Shopkeeper Karen escaped without any treasure, walking from the strange dream with a jolt. Sorry, waking from the strange dream with a jolt. Okay. Uh, learn the monarch's wishes, or alternatively, go to sleep because it's 1:25 a.m. and the sleep drop. A pigeon dropped off a hastily scrawled message saying that the monarch wished to see shopkeeper Karen at her earliest convenience. It was marked urgent. We are sleeping until 4:30 a.m. 
Where is she? Where did I put her? Yep. <laughs> Your dream started out with you in the tavern, having a beverage. You called out for some music to liven the evening. Oddly enough, two famous bards appeared and started singing simultaneously. One wordsmith, Andy Island, sang a bawdy and comically ironic tale of crude love. The other, Pruna Vikhail Moulton, sang a raucous ballad of pirate adventure. Both troubadours refused to quit. You'd have to choose the song. That Andy Island always makes me laugh. Let's hear his tune. The song was funny and bawdy. Too bawdy. Over the course of the song, your mind stopped paying attention to the jokes, and more to the goofy romance of the story. You woke up feeling the need for some romantic companionship. Receive the dry bar spell. Or the dry spell. Dry spell. Licentious sims feel more acute. Uh, licentious sims more acutely feel the effects of not having kissed or woohooed in a while. Time to get Karen some action. And I shirked my responsibility. I forgot I had responsibilities. Leave me alone. You, you're Karen. You have no responsibilities. Ha 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 ha. It's a Karen with a C, but it's different. Okay, like it's Corinne like or something. Some responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Um, I need to keep up my trade relations in the local pub for his request of a piece of wood. I can't do that in 29 minutes. I'm not going to bother. We're instead going to go and learn the monarch's wishes. Why? Why are there no interruptions available? Where is the monarch? Enter. Okay, cool. Can we learn the monarch's wishes now? Your Majesty? Yes, we can. Lovely. Ah, Lucille, may oh. you. What does she want? No, Greetings, Karen. A pleasure ah! to see you on this fine day. For your tremendous strength of character and invaluable service to the kingdom, I have decided to award you with the very first Citizen yes, of the Century yes. Award. Oh, and the reward comes with a giant bag of gold. Congratulations. Ah. Nice. Very nice. Love me a giant bag of gold. Okay, ask about privileges. What special privileges do I get? As citizen of the century, you will of course have access to the royal facilities, including the monarch's personal washroom and dressing chamber. You may also help yourself to beverages at the royal cast, and the monarch has requested that you receive a magnificent hug from myself, Royal Advisor Sabbath. Okay. Well, I would like a hug, please. Wow, that was just a little awkward. Um, how about we ask about health? Ask about musical preferences? Chat. State of the kingdom. Get to know. Gossip. Celebrate Yevon. Hasa, Janek, Nor se yag a bene brim fim vetima vipari. Aben 
Okay. Did that fix the dry spell? Yeah. Love they are now courting. Oh, Honestly, I am not sure what the re what the story for her is. She's friendly, she's a creative cook, and she is insecure. Uh, she just had a dry spell from a dream. And she seems to like fun things. So... She might end up staying with her, but she's definitely very friendly. Okay, okay we need to ask two customers to buy things in the market. Vodi Sagra! We should go back home. Okay. Back home we go to talk to customers. Um, oh, Check my oh, 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 Okay, there we go. Open the there we go. <laughs> and then. Salve. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, all right, cool. Hazel. Um, Gabriel. Oh, Michelle. Any other customers? No, all right. Oh, well, that's cool. Um, I still need to ask two customers to buy. I need to take a bath. Do I have a bath? Right here. Oh, ah, ah. I buy her box. Right, I need to do the Queen's place. Yeah, this Perfect. And we need to go back to the queen, so let's 
Is all San Bran. Uh, Forest Village. Ah. Hidden, Hidden no. Square. Where's the castle? Mm. There it is. Enter. Anything you can discover on your way. Oh, oh you can fit. Lovely. Sure, collect everything, please, my dear. Okay, we've apparently accidentally stolen some food from the castle. So that's fun. We need more energy, but first let's take a bath and gussy up. This bathtub has a special enchantment that creates a constant stream of, bu stream of bubbles. How delightful. My skin looks incredible today. Not a single <laughs> blemish. I wonder if the royal mead is as tasty as they say. Celebrate with a drink. More wine. <coughs> Let's just go sleep in the bed. Why not, right? Ask advisor about other prizes. Okay, you are asleep until 7 a.m. While you're sleeping, let's save the game. Is that the royal advisor? If that's the royal advisor, then where is the queen sleeping. There she is. She's not sleeping, she's just standing. Oh, no, she's just standing. Okay. Mm -hmm. John Zivacesic. I mean, it'll be easy enough to ask the advisor. I was sleeping with them tonight. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh dear. Ah, uh, can't ram. Should I get anything else for our advisor? Well, shopkeeper Karen, your luck has been so su stupendous that I might recommend revisiting the Fortune Festival and inv indulging in some games of chance. Okay. Aww. I'll return to the Fortune okay. Festival as soon as... Mm. <laughs> so in is chivalrous, which means she's kind, courteous, and loyal to you. It appears to the noble idea of the court leader. Okay. Um, let's do a bit of romantic stuff mm. with her. There we go. Oh, good I love them. Okay, go to location, please. Why am I being taken to the stocks? Why am I being taken to the stocks? Why am I in the stocks today, Besties? What did I do wrong? Is it because I slept in the Queen's bed? Or is it because I stole the Queen's food from the larder? It's probably because I stole the Queen's food, let's be honest. Suddenly, Constable Twenton was right by a shopkeeper car inside. The constable cleared his brawny throat. Shopkeeper car. For the most heinous crimes against the Crown, including ghastly murder of several peasants, desecration of holy ground through fire, and theft from the royal treasury, thou hast been sentenced to execution in the pit? May the watcher have mercy on your soul? I didn't do any of those things. I didn't do a single one of those things. Besties, I didn't do them. Where are the gypsies? Am I going to be eaten by the pit beast? Who was murdered? What's happening to me? What? I don't know. I. It just told me that she had committed like a bunch of heinous crimes and that she was sentenced to death. And I don't know what's going. I think I've been framed, Bestie. I think someone's framed me, but I don't know what to do. I've got to just hope for the beast, apparently. <laughs> oh, best so this is going to break. You're rude. Uh, All of you are rude. Stabin! Stabin! Jim Stabin! Oh my god! How did she throw that at me? We are sporting. How dare she? What is this? Why has shopkeeper Karen been arrested? The monarch has just declared her citizen of the century. Not bacon for the beast. Please stick up for me. Oh yes, I'm out of the stock. Okay, fine. Thanks for all the advice to have for the rest of you. Where are you, Sam? There you are. Thanks for the rest of you. Thank you. Thank you. 
humiliated by stocks. Okay. Cool. That's fine. I love being humiliated by the stocks. Have you had that strange limp for long? Wait. I think I know what this is. Please come with me at, at once back to the castle. I must show you something. Akim! Come to the shop, Keeper Karen. Take this. Um, no, I'm gonna wait in um, uh, take my serious bag. Okay, I will take bag from advisor slash person I'm courting. Friendish. Compel Juni Frays to be. Please read that book immediately. It is best not to speak of it aloud. Okay. Okay. I will read it. Don't drink it in the first titles. Magma fever. Karen is burning up from the magma fever. The next stage is outright melting. What? Treat by visiting the physician or drinking curative tonics? Oh my god, I need to go see the physician. No, she's not allowed to die. Besties, why? This life is a cruel business. Oh no, I need to go see the physician. Where's the physician? Flipping through the pages of the ancient tome. Shopkeeper Karen saw images of bizarre and extraordinary objects. One was a glittering emerald rim ring that seemed to be opening to a portal to another world. Another showed a gold chest decimating an army with beams of lightning and fire. Then Shopkeeper Karen saw a silvery Pegasus figurine, framed by golden sunlight on one side and dark fire on the other. Its caption read, Relic of the Fate, Highly Dangerous. Disturbs the congruence of experience. Can only be transferred through games of chance. What the deuce? Several hundred simols just disappeared from my bag. Rude. Okay. Um. Cool. Well, let's see. First things first. How do I town square? Show me to the town square. Okay. How do I know if it's the physician? Wait. Besties, I haven't built the physicians yet. No. Where do I get curative tonics? Oh my god. Besties, this is not going well. I don't think I can... I don't think I can fix it. Oh no, besties. Let's go beg the advisor for advice. Listen, the only way to transfer that terrible thing is through a game of chance. Perhaps you should look for someone foolish enough to play you at the card table. I'll just be leaving you. Okay. Let's go. Play a game of cards with God Goodwin. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh. Great. Perfect. You don't have to play cards anymore, bestie. Is this quest over? Can we build the clinic? Please. Oh, she's going to die if I can't get the clinic built. Okay, cool. I can build the clinic. Where's my clinic? Clinic, where are you? Where are you? Is that you? No. Lighthouse? No, don't tell me. Bestie, she's gonna die. I can't stop her from dying. I don't have a clinic. I can't. I can't. I can't heal her. Oh no. Oh no. Are 
you done? Nothing I did. She got sick, but I haven't built a clinic yet, and I can't build a clinic because I don't have enough resources yet. So what you did is you didn't build a clinic and you failed to have the resources. No, what I did is I built a goth family for the... The goth being the, um... The goth, the goth <laughs> being the main family in Willow Creek in the Sims 4. Ah, okay. And See. my main kingdom is named Willow Dale. Yeah, I was so thinking it's like because... the old Willow Creek and the ancestors uh, of the goth. I was thinking because it's a, uh, a medieval Sims, when you said goth, I'm like, it's the bit of goth. The Germanic tribes are coming. No. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Watcher Pavilion. What does that do? Elegant monument dedicated to the Watcher. Serves as a testament to the people's faith. I think I'm not going to spend any of my resource points yet. We'll save. We're going to choose a new quest. And then we are probably going to jump off stream after we've picked a new quest. So, what do we want to do? We've got a missing child. Willowdale was abuzz with the news of a child gone missing. Recovering the child safely would be an incredible boon to Kingdom Morale. Heir to the throne? We'll do that one at a later point, I think. Wedding. Anyone could marry in Willowdale, with the monarch's permission, of course. I might do this one for her. A public ceremony for Shopkeeper Karen. Okay, we're going to get Shopkeeper Karen married to the um, uh, Maid of Honor will be the Knight. And the Betrothed is going to be... One of these. Where is she? Can I not choose her? I don't think I can choose her besties. That's annoying. Yeah, it doesn't look like she's on the list. Fine, I won't do the marriage thing. Um, how about we do the family crest? The code of arms is the story is. A coat of arms told the story of one's lineage. It represented the achievement of generations. To hold one was to make a connection with those achievements and to remind oneself of the family code of conduct. But what happens when a hero had no knowledge of his or her own heraldry? Knight heraldry or royalty? Let's play with the knight next time. Dame Lindsay. Okay. Let's save the game. All right, besties, that is me done for today. Uh, once I've read this, of course. Dame Lindsay sees there had been whispers among her guards, specifically the new recruits, that she wasn't fit to be their leader because she didn't have a family crest. Heraldry means nothing to me, she cried. A woman, dis a woman is defined by her actions alone, not her family's past. I need to quell this idea before the... I need to quell the idea of the fa importance of family crests quickly before it gets out of hand. Yeah, you do. Let's save the game. Alright, besties. Well, this stream has been fun. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you again for the raid, Jackalopa. I do very much appreciate it. It's very good to see you. <laughs> um... Let us find, while I am saying goodbye, somebody to raid. Um, let's pull up my Twitch on my phone. 
Who have we got? Okay. I think two options. We have Lilula playing Stardew Valley, or we've got Panda Melon playing Animal Crossing. I think we might jump over to Lilula playing Stardew Valley because we raided Panda Melon quite literally yesterday. So let's raid Lilula. Let's start that raid. <laughs> okay, besties. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. I can't press that. Okay, try that again. Perfect. Okay. Well, it has been very fun, besties. And thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your days if you've got more of your day left. And if your day's over, I hope you have enjoyed your day and that tomorrow is just as good if today was good. Hello, oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream, Shikan. I'll see you all next time. I hope you all enjoy the raid. Oh, um, actually, first, when you get there, I don't have anything to actually put in chat. So just, like, I've never actually thought about something to put in chat. So just put whatever you feel like, just yellow raid or cyber geek raid or something like that. So when you get there, pop that in their chat and I will see you all over there. Bye guys. Enjoy the raid. <laughs> and then we got cheese.